his life. <laughs> <laughs> he should have been on Jersey Shore. <laughs> so bring that camera over here. I'm about to do some crazy stuff. <laughs> so we're out here. Miguel talking smack already. It's Sunday. Saturday. Saturday. Oh my God, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> it's Saturday. There's a lot of editing happening this weekend yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I gotta edit so much this weekend. There's no joke. Oh my god, it's so bad. But uh, yesterday we found out after qualifying. Right, but I think it was right before the pre-final. It's it happened before it got a little loose, and then I re tightened them, and then. Where are they? Cause I told them six no, minutes. So, we are reheat calling the head since the exhaust bolt came loose. So, what I did last night is we put some Loctite, try putting out as good as we could, um, then safety wired them together so the bolt went back out. A whole bunch of blow by still. Um, now we're trying to reheat cool it. So hopefully in the end we get this motor back together in time for the race this evening. They're trying to figure out how to do it right now. When well, they know how to do it. said so just getting the right size to do it. Making sure that we clean it up, make sure nothing falls in the engine itself making sure you know it's done correctly because this is Miguel's baby for sure this is Miguel's baby Miguel would have a heart attack to be honest if something happened to this motor this is my this is my I can't buy a Corvette Z06 he can't yet. even he can't even speak <laughs> I know. because of it I can't buy a Corvette Z06 yet but this is my Corvette Z06 so we're working on it we'll get back together it's probably not the best time to record this because I'm being playing you know, Miguel is under pressure. MTV's finest. By looking at the line so far, the track looks pretty dry. test guinea pig he's the one testing the track out of how it looks dry to be honest but i'm not the one out there running it i'm gonna point out all of gabe's mistakes Gabe's going like you're supposed to keep it in between and the two green areas but me I mean uh, Gabe he just uh, he makes the track his own we love him though we only pick on him because we love him so the way we've been making these tires last is we continuously flip them after each race weekend and like now we're doing a double header not how we make them last it's our budget <laughs> that's true it's not how we make them last that's our budget last that's so but tired too yeah i think we found out that we can go miguel's other tires the only had on before had close to when we did the math count on lap it was like 470 something and these are getting right around 500 laps on them so um these new mgs they're lasting forever and they're not dropping off yeah, that's why I like uh, Yeah, that's that's one thing that I like about, at least for a 206 class, I don't know about the junior class. Yeah, against, uh, old against new, there's two right there. Exactly. Old tires against new tires. We haven't seen much, excuse me, much of a difference uh, yet. So, at Orlando, uh, it could be track dependent, you know, we might go to another track and you might have to buy some brand new tires right off the bat. And Anderson, I would like to see, since they did the repaving and stuff like that, 
want to see how much tires would be a difference because that track it would be you show up with some old tires you try to run against some new tires they don't give away participation trophies that far back so so far so good I think he needs a new prescription because sometimes he doesn't know where he's going oh. on track. You know, at least I'm driving with my glasses now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he's gone a little bit quicker. Makes a difference. It really does. You excited? You ready? I'm ready. Slow, slow. I'm a, I'm rain, a little... Rain's been on and off and you guys know I love the rain. I don't drive in the rain. He isn't dri is 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 driving in the rain. Miguel, Miguel doesn't drive in the rain. I'm the only one that drives in the rain. So, we'll see how it is. I, I know one thing, if Miguel gets beat, I'm gonna jump in my cart. I, I think Dylan will stand back into the finals. <laughs> Ruben's, we adjusted his brakes so you can actually use them now. We're about to find out if this brake adjustment worked. I should check your dad's work. Well, he stopped. Well, he sent me out with no brakes before. Yeah, you'd be fine. Nothing. Yeah, you'd be fine. You'd be fine. Miguel's OCD just kicked in. I'm helping, I'm helping. It's getting wet. Like bad. <laughs> we'll see what happens in the fall. Alright, looking at lap times, uh, everybody else was. <laughs> was fine and uh track was dry miguel just did not get a good lap and uh still in the p3 but uh we'll see later on that uh it wasn't very good straight on to the pre-finals and we're about to get the green flag uh this is exactly where you want to start is on the inside if you're not on pole at least you want to start on the inside <laughs> line um they got away clean the front two got away clean that's that's what i should say because i'm about to swap it here on a rear view camera and you're gonna see some not get away too clean uh action but uh miguel followed the 74 around 74 took a good protective line and uh and from the start looking back now now green flag drops 10 and junior uh start getting into it uh 10 gets in the back of rubens rubens gets shoved wide uh when junior contacts the 10 the 10 is already on rubens but but at that time so short end the stick was a uh, good old rubens and then and then the 10 decides to hit your ride with uh junior so at that point in time i'm pretty sure everybody's seeing red uh 74 was doing some amazing uh protective driving i would say uh, maybe some rear mirrors would have been better at that point in time, but I don't know why he kept looking left and right uh, That's the number one rule I tell me go not to do is to look around, but uh, He was protecting as much as he could Here uh, I think he forgot where the braking zone was because uh, uh, He was uh, braking a lot sooner than uh, what everybody was expecting and later on the race is gonna bite him but uh, we go into a corner, Miguel completely leaves the door wide open, invites his six to come in and take it from him. Uh, honestly, I don't know if Miguel senses pressure or not. Um, Gabe decides to put a pick on Miguel because he's breaking down. And then uh, this is from the back view, you know, Miguel just opens the door, six takes it like uh, like it's nobody's business. The 10 and Dylan, man, they're, they're getting into it. Ruben's trying to tell Tenda, you know, maybe we should calm down. It's a long race. <laughs> but uh, I don't know if he got the hint. I know he was on a tear, and he's on Miguel's back bumper. Miguel again opens the door, and the 10 takes it. And um, Miguel lets everybody by because he's such a nice guy. So <laughs> the pre-finals was not going Miguel's way at all, for sure.
It's uh, some tough, hard-nosed driving. Uh, Rubens goes and tries to make a pass on the 10. Almost makes a stick. Uh, Junior uh, goes right behind him and gets passed again. But, uh, you know, they are just shuffling position, battling it out. And like I said earlier, this is the last lap. Miguel fell back, caught up. 74 was uh, breaking in a lot sooner than expected. Uh, he just locked up the brakes. Uh, 10 smashing to the back of him. Junior smashing back of 10. 74 took a defensive line down for this turn. Uh, there's some battling up front, which I don't know who, the, who those two are. And then Dylan stalls out coming out of that tight section of the turn. Here Miguel notices it's not going to work, uh, lets it go through, and then the 10 comes in I know nowhere. Uh, just a mistake on his part. Uh, hit the curb, accidentally hit Miguel, went to a flagpole. Thank God he's okay. Once Miguel saw the incident, he jumps out, runs over, and checks on him. Uh, crazy pre-final. We are live. Look at oh, us. Yes. Look at us. We are on the jam cam. The jam cam. Jam cam. <laughs> Action, 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 action. <laughs> All right. We're so dumb. <laughs> yes? Can we help you? I am Jorge, and I have the camera. Hi. Yeah. Um, so, you're ready to make it funny? Hey, I'm good. Hi, I am Jorge. Hey, I'm Jorge. 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 Jorge Ruiz of Jam Racing. Yeah. Jam Racing. Uh, I, um... What? <laughs> he does his hand, he's like... No, 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 it's like this, his fingers are like... Maybe because it's yeah. non-harassing? No, 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 but the fingers are like this. It's like, you're like crooked. <laughs> so, yeah, that's Jorge in a nutshell. And then there's Miguel. So, pre-finals. Pre-finals. Lots of, lots of fighting between these guys. Um, I missed it, I can tell you. This shows what kind of human being the little one is. Miguel, he gave up his race to help a fellow racer. Yep. You don't see that anywhere. So he literally, he literally stopped in the middle of the track, did not care what place he came in. The guy that's been winning here week in and week out and just make sure that he was okay. He got the card He's off the car. Stand up kind of guy. Stand up kind of guy. He's a gentleman and a scholar. Scholar? I yeah. wouldn't go that far. You know. He's a gentleman. Yeah, but he's a sweetheart. Yeah, he is. So, so yep, yeah, we're going into the finals. Things are a little heated between a couple different teams, but you know, everybody just needs to woo stuff. It's gonna be a fun day. We're here for I'm fun. I'm gonna host a yoga class next yeah. time. Yeah, I like I um. Deep um, cleansing breaths. Yeah, deep so. breathing. Inhala. Exactly. Now, most important of all, if he puts this on the video, he's gonna have to put my link to my channel and hers on the bottom. Mustache. Right? So, white knuckle and white knuckle racing. So, mustache. And white knuckle racing, which is my channel. I'm much more zen, much more cooler than these two guys. I don't post videos. Just follow me anyhow. Just follow my channel. <laughs> no, and, follow and mine. Follow mine. And hit the bell. Hit the bell. Yes, very important. You'll never get in. <laughs> You'll never get any notifications. No, so maybe one day it will post. It'll be like a secret surprise box. Yeah, but watch my channel. I post every week. Yeah, watch my channel. I post. Oh, well, not when every it's week, important. but I try. When it's important. Yeah. All right, guys. Take care. So, pre finals in the book. And wow. That's all I gotta say. So, finals about to start. Miguel's starting last. Uh, we'll see how far he gets up. I'm not sure if he's gonna record it because I'm not sure if he's smart enough to hit the two buttons. So, we'll see if he's smart enough to turn on the cameras. Should be a good race. I'm excited to see what happens. So, on to the finals. Miguel gets a really good start uh, up on the inside. Uh, he's able to make uh, up to three positions right here in the first two turns. And he's right behind his uh, teammate, Junior. So now they're going to try to work together and get away. Uh, 74 makes a move on Dylan. On the flagpole, Dylan senses the move. Does a crossover. Uh, 74 loses all his extra speed. Gets Junior, lets Junior back uh, around him. Uh, then Miguel gets uh, wasn't able to get by him at that point in time. Uh, Dylan, man, for the first time he was out here, he was just really quick right off the bat. 
uh, just a couple practice sessions on his belt. Really just only a couple laps because he keeps throwing the chain. And then he threw the chain again. Uh, give everybody else a chance to win. Such a nice guy, to be honest. Uh, here, 74 makes a really good move on Junior up on the inside. Uh, takes away the position. Uh, Miguel tries to follow him through, but just can't make it work. Uh, Junior had one more tooth up on him, so really had better drive out of the turns, but Miguel had uh, a little bit more top end. Uh, 74 th goes down to make the block, uh, pops back out, but then Junior and Miguel get a really good drive into a turn. I was telling them if they're going to make a move, they got to wait until they open up on turn four, which is where I make all the moves. Uh, Junior goes for it, and Miguel's going to shove him right through turn five and go with him. So right here, he just worked out perfectly. Junior's able to hold a cart steady while Miguel pushes him through the turn. Uh, you're able to do it in this 206 class if you get a good driver in front of you You're able to go through the turn pretty easily two by two uh, Coming up here juniors working on the six pretty hard He's gonna make a move the six goes for a defensive line, which you know kills XX speed uh, Miguel goes through with them. Uh, they touch here the six pops the curve which actually worked out because Last video you saw 77 did not work out so well for him uh, Miguel gets in a tussle with the six, and here he's going to fall behind him here in a second. Uh, actually falls behind the uh, 74. Uh, he was not able to get around the six easily, so trying to make a move. Uh, Junior actually runs out, gets by Rubens, the leader, and then Rubens is going to chase him down here. Gets a really good drive down. Uh, this little stretch makes the move back around him for the lead, and then uh, Rubens drives off. Uh, for the win uh, going back Miguel falls back behind the 74 and you know these two have been going at it all weekend but here is a here they were just you know rough driving a lot of blocking uh, he looks over gives Miguel a shove to the outside and uh, you know these two just did not like each other this weekend it was mostly because of the blocking that's why when Miguel was upset uh, 74 kept looking back and forth back and forth the black flags gonna come out uh, Their nose to tail Mio only thinks the 74 gets a black flag. So he pulls off and go stays on track uh, Miguel never receives the black flag again right here. He re-catches up to six six looks Just falls in love with the TV car and want to get a really good look at it. So he gets really up close uh, Miguel <laughs> waves at him uh, and then uh, they're gonna get back into it right here in this turn again uh, Six gets a good turn in and I, then forgets where he was going on track I'm guessing he just fell in love with the TV and want to get really close to it <laughs> Checks a look back and then look at Miguel's left foot. He's already on the break, but somehow the six locks it up in front of him It was a uh, it was really really weird uh, Then uh, the six forgot he was in a uh, 206 and he was gonna try to push start it like a shifter so uh, overall, the weekend was a, a little hectic. Uh, and <laughs> Miguel gets back to pits and finds out that the, the black flag was for him too. So, you know, uh, good lesson learned. It's gets crazy. So, finals in the book. And like I just said, it gets crazy. Uh, Rubens Jr. Miguel did an amazing finals race. The results will not reflect how awesome they did. Um, you know, this weekend was a, uh, a learning experience overall. Um, tempers are still high. That's what we learned. Tempers are still high. In the end, um, no, I, I like Orlando. I like the track. I like the facility. I like I like the ownership. Um, we're having some big 206 crowds, and the competition side, everybody's getting heated because you know everybody you, you come out here to win, right? You want to win. You don't come out here to ride around the back. So um, I want. I'm doing this video, this final closing section because I'm trying to keep. A, I'm like the cool level head. Things happen on the track, but they they will be fixed. All right, we were a little, little 
hyped up. All right, things got crazy. But I love the track, uh, I love the facility, and I hope everybody keeps coming back because these are growing pains. And we're gonna get through these growing pains, all right? So thanks everybody for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoy these videos. Hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, and uh, I'll catch you guys on track soon enough. Five weeks more, that's it. Five more weeks, I'll be back.